Tonight, extra perspective from a mother, her daughter, and mental health professionals who gathered to discuss mental health challenges facing teens today. The town hall was, was sponsored by Emergence Health Network in El Paso Matters, and it was held at EPCC. ABC 7's dedicated Be Mindful reporter Avery Martinez brings us extra depth on student mental health. Well, you can see that this is an important issue, and there were talks in progress throughout the day about these important topics. One of the focuses was to look at how teachers, therapists, and different professionals could support teens that were in crisis, especially if they were depressed or suicidal. And one of the speakers, Alice, is a young lady herself who has had experiences with mental health crises. Now, after getting medication and therapy, she's sharing her personal story about her struggles. When I got my help, it was actually when I was at, if I may say this, at the verge of me almost committing suicide. And that was like when my mom was like, okay, she needs help. Alice is now 18, and after medication and treatment, she feels far away from that dark space. Her mother was instrumental in supporting her. Gisela knew something was wrong and tried to figure it out. She says it's stressful thinking at any point there could be a tragedy, and she worried about not being able to arrive in time to help her daughter. They're now spreading her message of hope. Both joined a panel of experts, including Alice's therapist, to speak about what teens face in the modern world and how it affects mental health. Social media, school stressors, relationship worries, and growing up can have an impact on young people's minds. People are uncomfortable having the conversations and they don't know how to approach a teen. We could be more intentional and aware of what's happening. Alice's mom noticed her daughter withdrawing, refusing to eat. I was just drowning in my own thoughts. I couldn't even breathe, I couldn't eat, I couldn't do anything. She says parents should always try to pay attention to their children. I feel like it's really important for teenagers to understand that like if you have some sort of mental health issue it's okay to talk about it. Alice now wants to be a mental health worker and support migrants in crisis. In su vida, but Alice's mom says a few weeks ago her daughter told her she can't believe how beautiful life is. But I'm definitely way better than I was before. I, I've grown out of like my anxiety and my depression. Her lasting message is simple. If you need help, it doesn't matter where or when, please go find it. If you need immediate help, you can dial 988, the National Suicide and Crisis Hotline, 24 hours a day. They have mental experts standing by. I'm Avery Martinez for ABC7.